voice and commit your ways to the Lord. We bring our ways to you, O God. We bring our actions in 2022. Our choices and decisions, O God. We lift it before you, Lord. A step ahead of us in 2022. Create opportunities for increase. Increase in favor. Increase in finances. Increase in opportunities. Increase in your blessing. Increase in our health. In the name of Jesus, in 2022, we receive increase, financial increase. In the name of Jesus, increase in our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we receive growth. There is overflow, abundance to you. In 2022, the little effort, it will yield multiple fruits. In the name of Jesus, in 2022, growth is coming. Expansion is coming in every area of your life. In 2022, you will see the hand of the Lord. The Lord will make room for your expansion, for your growth, for your increase, and for your abundance. We give you praise and glory, and you can go ahead and celebrate the victory. The victory of the past and the victory in the future. Somebody put your hands together. Give the Lord a shout in this place. Let it be a shout of victory. your two hands with thanksgiving that's the name of the Lord that's the name of the Lord he sent his word to heal our disease he delivered us out of the hands of death this God saved us this God Bible that, that all men shall give him thanks lift up your hands and give him the glory hallelujah Jesus we give him the praise
Let's hear the word of the Lord. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The, long, long, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Here ends the word of the Lord. Amen.
our second scripture reading is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 10 to 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, Take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having gathered your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints this is the word of God thanks be to God amen let's put our hands together Once again, if you just joined us, this is the crossover service coming to you live from Christ Temple East here in Accra, Ghana. You are with the people of God at the right place at the right time. One more time, put your hands together and give thanks unto the Lord. It's now time for us to love the Lord, celebrate him, and appreciate him with our giving. This is a very important offering we call the end of year thanksgiving offering in a year in which the world has experienced massive disruption through a pandemic we are alive today as a testimony to the faithfulness of our god and this offering is a communication of our appreciation to god for his protection and his provision in our lives and the lives of our families throughout this year if god has been good Put your hands together and celebrate his faithfulness. For those here in person, there is an envelope with the indication end of year thanksgiving offering. Take out that envelope, fill it out with all the details required, and you will place it in the offering basket as led by the ushers. For those watching online, please use the various giving channels displayed on your screen. And as you package your offering, think about Psalm 116 verse 12 to 14 that says, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Amen. Bringing our song ministry for our offering, we have a double header with Sandra Houston Kelly singing, This God is Too Good, and Lumina following with You Are My All in All. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Sandra Houston Kelly.
Let's put our hands together one more time for Lumina and Sandra Houston Kelly. This is a time of thanksgiving, a time of receiving God's word, and a time of crossing over into the brand new year 2022 that lies ahead. Here we are at Crossover 2021. I would like to welcome once again everyone here in person as well as those joining us across the various continents of the world on our various online platforms. Crossover is live online at centralgospel.com and on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at Mensortable and at ICGC Christ. Also find us on my ICGC app. A special welcome tonight to all our worshipers joining us on the various networks. And when I mention them, please make them feel welcome all across the nation and beyond. We are joined by worshipers on TV3, Joy News, GTV. Let's hear a loud round of applause for them. ETV, Max TV, Coastal TV, Joy FM, YFM, Happy FM, and Asasi FM in Accra, in Kumasi, and Tamale. Put your hands together and welcome all those worshiping with us across the world. We are coming to the climax of tonight's service where Pastor Mensah Table will bring us our New Year message and lead us in the New Year celebration, the communion service, and the anointing service. Right after this hymn and the introduction, the next voice you hear will be the voice of our pastor, Mensa Otabul. Let's rise to our feet as endless praise leads us to sing, The Lord is my shepherd.
crossover marks a significant moment in the life of ICGC as we transition from one year into another in our walk with God. At this time, more than ever, we need a word from the Lord to take us into the year that lies ahead, bringing us God's word for the new year and leading us in the communion and anointing service. Let's rise to our feet as we welcome the General Overseer of the International Central Gospel Church, Pastor Mensa Otable. Celebrate the Lord as he comes. Somebody shout hallelujah in this place. Somebody make a joyful noise and declare Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, great things he has done. He has brought us a mighty long way from the 1st of January 2021 to the 31st of December 2021. It's been a long journey, but here we are. We stand in the presence of God fully confident that he who has brought us this far will take us forward into the new year and give us victory in every battle in Jesus' name. And somebody said, Amen. Amen. Please be seated in God's presence. It's a joy to welcome all of you here. Uh, this is the first time we are having crossover on this new campus of our church. And we are honored to welcome all of you who have joined us uh, in person and those who are joining uh, online and virtually. Tonight, we trust that the Lord will minister to each one of us in a very special way, that God will speak to us, that God will help us, and God will sustain us. Before I get into the Word of God, I just want to uh, do some acknowledgement of uh, people and partners who have made this possible uh, today. Our media partners have been acknowledged, but I, I repeat to TV3, Joy News, GTV, ETV, Max TV, and Coastal TV. Let's give a hand to all of them. Our FM stations, uh, the Joy FM, the first station I started broadcasting on, YFM, Happy FM, and Asasi Radio. This is the first time we are welcoming Asasi Radio. God bless them. Online platforms, centralgospel.com, and we are on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, uh, at Mesa Otabel, and at ICGC Christ. And you can get us also on the ICGC app. A lot has been done to make this possible, so let me quickly... Uh, thank uh, Oxygen for Artwork, Asoriba for SM, SMS Blast, uh, Security Services to the Outstanding Ghana Police Service, the Regional Police Command, Ghana Police MTTD, and Triple Protection Security. Internet and Digital Service Providers, MTN, Asoriba, Ghana, Visual Insight, Insano Limited, Surfline Ghana, janitorial services uh, who clean up, uh, ET services, digi sanitary services, anointing oil which we'll use today, Borges olive oil, construction services, Axenos, um, chairs and canopies, amazing rental, Meliat hiring, lace rental, event factory, and uh, sound technical service, sound and LED protect, uh, projection, silicon, stage setup, God's Family, Praise TV, video coverage, Christ Temple Media, power distribution and arena lighting, uh, hyperactive electrical stage lighting, control light, TV uplink, GBC, barricade, Manital, banking services, UMB, uh, transportation, Greater Accra, passenger, transport, Executive, otherwise known as Ayalolo, CTE Task Force, Audio, Video, video Graphic Communications, Projection, Stage Hands, Power, Social Media, 
IT, photography, ushers, greeters, host and hostesses, uh, security supervisors, security, Zama band, endless praise, Lumina, contemporary voices, spirit, speed seed management, in-service logistics and operations. A lot takes place in this church. Food and beverage, executive security, shakat, social action, traffic control, CTE, pastors and staff, special events directorate, and want to give a special appreciation to my precious wife, Joy, for her leadership in most of these efforts. Tonight, we are gathered in the presence of God who will lead us into the new year. Psalm 46, verses 1 to 5. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High, God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. Tonight we are waiting for the dawning of a new day and a new year. And we affirm confidently tonight that God is our refuge and strength and he will help us at the breaking of dawn. Last year, crossover was mostly online. COVID was ravaging our world, and there was no vaccine at that time. Today, though COVID is still ravaging, there is a vaccine to protect from the full effect of the virus. Also today, we are gathered together here on this campus, which is a new campus of our church. We call it the Christ Temple East Campus of the International Central Gospel Church. Our previous meeting place uh, continues to still serve us. It is Christ Temple West Campus of the International Central Gospel Church. Uh, traditionally, we have had crossover at either the stadium or the independent square but to manage our crowds a little better uh, we chose this direction but we are here with a grateful heart and we want to thank God for the year 2021 if you have something to be thankful for give the Lord a clap offering for 2021 in just a short while we will say goodbye to 2021. We are convinced that God has already gone ahead of us into 2022 because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What we face is what he has prepared for us. Each year comes with a baggage of activities. And each one of us here have stories to tell. Every year is mixed. Sometimes the events weigh heavily towards one side of happiness or sadness. For some of us, 2021 has been the best of times. For others, it has been the worst of times. For others, it's a mixture of both good and bad. There are people sitting here today or listening online who have gone through the valley of the shadow of death some of you probably sitting here were attacked by the COVID virus and have gone through severe testing of your health but thank God that you are alive here and well and to God be the glory some have been hurt wounded knocked down gone through sickness, buried loved ones. Some have had to say goodbye to acquaintances. 
Some have been left alone with broken hearts. And there are those who said that you would not make it because of all the load that you have carried this year. But in spite of all the stuff that you have been through, you can still say, I am here by the grace of God. We are standing here because he made a way. Being here means that God is not finished with you. And if somebody told you that uh, you were finished, I'm here to announce a new verdict on your behalf. That you are not finished, God is not finished with you. Your best years are still ahead of you. The best is coming your way. Favor is coming your way. Increase is coming your way. Abundance is coming your way. Because God is not finished with you. Somebody shout, God is not finished with me. There are those who are rejoicing today because 2021 has been the best year for them. Some people were born again this year. Some got their first job this year in the midst of pandemic. Some people probably built a house and moved into their house for the first time this year. Some probably got their first car. Whatever your miracle was, those of you who married last minute up to today, some people were having wedding. Uh, for all of you, whom God has blessed tremendously and there is so much to be grateful for. God still is not finished with you. You think this was a good year? Watch out for next year. It's going to be bigger, it's going to be better, and it's going to be greater. God is not through with you. So today we have come here and we declare boldly that no matter what life has thrown against us, we are still standing by faith. The Lord is with us and we will break through. So in all the pains and sorrows of 2021, we say, Lord, we give you thanks. In all the uncertainties and worries of 2021, we say, Lord, we give you thanks. In all our trials and tribulations of 2021, we say, Lord, we give you thanks. For all the joys and laughters of 2021, we say, Lord, we give you thanks. For all the miracles and deliverances of 2021, we say, Lord, we give you thanks. For all the victories and achievements of 2021, we say, Lord, we give you thanks. That is our testimony because we have learned to give thanks to God in all circumstances. On the mountain top, he is Lord. In the valley, he is Lord. When we are crying, he is Lord. When we are laughing, he is Lord. When we are down, he is Lord. When we are up, he is Lord. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We believe that God is not finished with us yet. Our theme has always been very profound every year. This year, our theme has been fruitfulness. 2022, our theme is increase. The God who has made us fruitful will cause us to increase. For everybody who has survived 2021, this is the one of the most difficult years, they say, in about a hundred years. One of the most difficult years on this planet in about a hundred years. If you survive this year, you are a survivor. If you didn't fall and lie down, but you fall and got up, you are a champion. If life buffeted you, but you received the blows and kept marching, you are a champion. So let me see some champions in this arena. Stand up and give God praise and shout, I'm a champion. Say, I'm a winner. I am not losing today. I am not losing tomorrow. I will not lose in 2022. Because you've come through the valley of the shadow of death. And here we are standing. 
the Lord will increase us in many areas of our lives. I just want to briefly share something with you on the topic of increase. Now, most of you who are familiar know that every year for our theme as a church, we also produce an artwork and, uh, uh, and, and, and that artwork stays with us and then we make a declaration and there are several things we do in a year. And uh, last, uh, this year, our theme of fruitfulness had the hand of Jesus holding a tree that is bearing fruit. And uh, this, in 2022, we are focusing on uh, something very unique that Jesus did uh, when he multiplied five loaves of bread and two fish and increased it to feed a multitude. And, and we believe that God will take something little from you and increase it and make it a thousand times more. So I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 14 and verses 17 to 20. And I will comment briefly on it before we start praying towards the new year. And they said to him, we have here only five loaves and two fish. And he said, bring them here to me. Then he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass. And he took the five loaves and the two fish. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples. And the disciples gave to the multitudes. So they all left, they all ate and were filled. And they took up 12 baskets full of the fragments that remain. The feeding of the 5,000. It is the only miracle of Jesus Christ which is reported in all the four Gospels. There are many miracles Jesus performed. Some of the miracles are recorded by Matthew. But Mark will not record them. Some are recorded by Mark. Matthew doesn't have it. Luke doesn't have it. Some by John. Luke doesn't have it. But there's one miracle that all of them reported. Each one. It's the only one that was reported by all the four gospels. And that is the feeding of a 5,000. And I believe it is so because most of the miracles of Jesus Christ benefited one person at a time so if somebody was blind and uh, they went to Jesus he healed them the others were spectators only the blind man was healed if somebody is a cripple and got healed others saw it but they they didn't receive anything they just saw somebody healed if somebody was uh, deaf and Jesus healed them only that person benefited but this is one miracle where every attendant benefited because everybody who was at the meeting was touched by the miracle. Everybody ate a piece of that bread and that fish. And that is why after that miracle, nobody forgot that miracle. Everybody was touched. And I believe that in 2022, God would do a miracle in your life. It will not be one for somebody it will not just be you applauding somebody's testimony. It's going to happen to you too. It's going to happen to you too. It's going to happen to you too. Somebody say, it will happen to me. It will happen to you. So this miracle affected everybody in the gathering. And I'm believing God for such a thing where God will do something that none of us will be a spectator but everyone will be a beneficiary. That we will see it and we will receive it. So how did the miracle happen? Jesus had gathered with people similar to the crowd here. And they were in the wilderness. We are not in the wilderness. And they had been with Jesus for three days. After three days, everybody's food was finished. 
So the people were hungry. And the disciples came to Jesus and said, Sir, we like the preaching, but the people are hungry. So I think it's time that we, we, we get something for them. So some of the disciples says, dismiss the meeting, close the meeting. Others said, you know, even if we had all the money, we don't even have a bakery to meet the needs. So this was not just a financial problem. It was bigger than a financial problem where you have money, but you don't have the solution. So Jesus asked the disciples, what do you have? And one of them says, ah, we don't have anything except there is a tiny boy here. He's the only one who has kept his food all these three days. He, ha he must have been a very disciplined boy. How much does he have? Five loaves. Two fish. And by the way, this is not a big loaf of bread like our normal big size loaf of bread. This is just a small boy's loaf of bread. Tiny bread. And probably the fish was also tiny. So they brought it to Jesus. Small. Insignificant. The need is much. Massive. Thousands of people hungry. Resource scanty. And the first thing Jesus did, the Bible says that he took it. The loaves were placed in Jesus' hand. He didn't take it by force. They gave it to him. Giving those five loaves and two fish to Jesus was a sign of surrender. What I have is not much. What we have is not much. But we put it in your hands. In 2022, what you may have in your hand is not much. But put it in God's hands. Because sometimes we despise what we have. We look at what we have and we say, oh, I don't have all the money somebody has. I don't have all the information. I don't have all the education. It may be just five loaves of bread and two fish. But if you want to increase, take it away from your hands and put it in Jesus' hands. That is surrender. And Jesus took what had been surrendered to him. Maybe you may have to surrender your pride or surrender your own way or surrender what you have in your hand to Jesus. This little boy surrendered what he had. That's the first step he took. It left his hand into the hand of Jesus. And when it got into the hand of Jesus, he held on to it. Not to take it, but to increase it. And the Bible says, Jesus looked to heaven and blessed it. We're not told what blessing he pronounced, but it is likely that Jesus pronounced a typical Jewish blessing before a meal. Blessed are you, O Lord, King of the universe, who has given us this bread. That's all he said. Thank you, Father, for giving this to us. No long prayer, no drama, no theater, no gymnastics. Simply thanking God for what he has. And he blessed it. And then after he had blessed it, he broke it. When he took it, it was five loaves of bread. When he blessed it, it was still five loaves of bread. If you were standing around, you say, well, he has blessed it, but nothing has happened. 
Because the blessing started a process. He broke it. So now if he broke it into two, then probably there are now ten pieces instead of five pieces. And he broke the fish into two, then there are four pieces instead of two. So some multiplication is taking place, but this is addition. And he gave it to his disciples. And the moment it touched the hands of the disciples, something happened. When they gave the bread out, it never got finished. They gave fish out, it never got finished. And they kept giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. giving. 5,000 people were fed. And these were people who were three days hungry. Three days hungry people don't eat very small. They eat with a lot of seriousness. They attack the food. And they ate. Three days hunger was satisfied. And afterwards... 12 baskets full left over. I'm here to announce to somebody God is about to do something in your life. You will be shocked that it happened. Your friends will be shocked that it happened because there is something small you are holding in your hand. It may be a small business you just registered. It may be a small effort you are starting. It may be one block of cement you have started with to build your house. And God says, put it in my hand and see what I'm going to do with it. In 2022, God will take the little in your hand and he will increase it and multiply it until it reaches to the uttermost places that you are desiring. He broke it. And he gave it. And from that time, everybody's hunger was satisfied. Twelve baskets left over. People have all kinds of theories as to why, uh, what happened to the twelve baskets. Some have suggested that Jesus gave the twelve baskets of bread back to the small boy. I don't know what a small boy is going to do with 12 baskets of bread and fish. <laughs> Probably you start a bread and fish industry in the place. But the reality is, God took the little, increased it to overflow. Tonight, we are getting ready to enter 2022. God wants to take the little in your hand. Increase it to overflow. God wants to take the small step you are going to take. Bless it. Increase it to the overflow. Maybe you just started your marriage and life is hard. You don't even have a place to live. You've probably been ejected. I will never forget when my wife was pregnant with our first child we had just been married and we we're living in a one room place and we got ejected and I had no clue where to take my pregnant wife and just at that time when we had nowhere to go somebody says can you come and just stay in a small part of our house and give us a room to stay and sometimes when you go through those things you are wondering Will my life ever be good? I'm, I've just started and look at what is happening. Things are disorganized. I'm here to announce to somebody. You may see turbulence today. And what you have in your hand is small. You may be patching in somebody's backyard. You may be patching in somebody's kiosk. But if you would say, Lord Jesus, I don't have much to offer. Take what I have and use it. He will shock you. He will surprise you. And the anointing of increase will rest upon you. The little in your hand will turn to much. When we gather here next year by this time, there will be amazing testimonies of increase. People who started from zero 
and are now heroes. People who were unknown and are now known. People who had nowhere to sleep and are now owning apartments. People whom everybody gave up on. Who are now an inspiration to everybody. I don't know where life has put you. I don't know what you have in your hand. Maybe everybody left you. They abandoned you. Threw you away. And left you with only five loaves of bread and two fish. But you serve a God of increase. And the God of increase will take what is in your hand. And he will multiply it. And he will feed the world with it. The world is about to experience who you are and what you have. And may the Lord touch your life. And we pray that that same spirit of increase will not just touch our lives, but it will touch our continent of Africa. May the spirit of increase rest upon Africa from Cape Town to Cairo, from Senegal to Somalia, from every country. May we increase in knowledge. May we increase in understanding. May we increase in technology. May the young men and the young women of Africa do amazing things in their time and in their season. And may that same spirit rest upon Ghana. May we increase. May we break out of every restriction of COVID and the coronavirus. And may we see an improved economy. And may we see improved businesses. May we see businesses that were ravaged. Coronavirus just hit your business. And everything went out of your hand. All you have left is five loaves of bread and two fish. I tell you in 2022, you will not just bounce back. You will leap higher. You will leap forward. You will rise higher. You will be a testimony. The enemy came up against you one way. But God will deliver you and make you a testimony. Somebody say, I receive increase. Say, I receive increase. Say, I receive increase. And may it rest upon you. And may it rest upon your nation. May it rest upon our continent. May it rest upon our families. Tonight, as we prepare to enter the new year that's how we're going to enter fully confident that the Lord will increase us if you look at the miracle of the five loaves and two fish when the five loaves of bread the resources were in the hands of the boy it was limited in the hand of Jesus, it was blessed. When Jesus gave it back to the disciples, it was multiplied. Whatever you have, you give it to the Lord. He will bless it. When he gives it back to you, that is when the multiplication and the increase will start in your life. I want you to trust God with what you have. Trust him with your heart. Trust him with your spirit. Lean not on your own understanding. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your family. Don't look at what you have and despise it. It may not look like much, but God will do much with it. It may not look like it can achieve a lot, but God will achieve a lot with it. Tonight, we receive the anointing of increase upon our lives Psalm 115 verses 14 and 15 it says may the Lord give you increase more and more you and your children may you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth may the Lord give you increase more and more you and your children and may you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. May the Lord give you increase more and more. May the Lord give you increase more and more. May the Lord give you increase more and more. You and your children. 
May the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. May the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. Ghana, may the Lord give you increase, you and your citizens, more and more. Africa, may the Lord give you increase, you and your people, more and more to every African country. To Nigeria, may the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your people. For Togo, for Benin, for Cote d'Ivoire, for Burkina, for South Africa, Zimbabwe, Morocco, Algeria, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea, Central African Republic in the center, on the far side east Djibouti Eritrea Ethiopia may the Lord give you increase you and your people more and more and for everybody here in this arena tonight may the Lord give you increase you and your people more and more and tonight as we get ready to go into and all of you who are watching and listening may the lord give you increase more and more you and your children just before we enter the new year i just want to spend a lot of time to pray for everyone who says lord i want increase if you want increase then you have to give your life to jesus you have to give your life to him just like the boy gave his five loaves of bread you have to give your life you may say pastor i'm a sinful person i've done some bad things i've i don't even think god loves me just give it to him you may not think it's much give it to him you may think you are the worst person just give it to jesus and if you surrender it to him he will take your life and he will do something great with it so today before we enter the new year, in the next 19 or so minutes, we want to enter with Christ in our hearts. We want to enter with new life in Christ. And I'm going to ask everybody here, bow down your heads wherever you are. If you are in this place and you say, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. My life is no good. I have suffered so much. Nothing works for me. I do all the bad things. But I want Jesus to do something with my life. If that is your desire and your prayer, wherever you are, just lift up your right hand and wave it. I just want to see your right hand. Wave it. You want Jesus to come into your heart. Lift up your hand and wave it. You want Jesus to come into your heart. Those of you who wave your hand, just stand up wherever you are stand up wherever you are just stand up just stand up for a minute stand up god bless you god bless you stand up stand up tonight i'm going to pray with you for you to give your life to jesus christ put your hand upon your heart if you're watching me by television do the same you want jesus to come into your heart put your hand upon your heart if you're listening through some means, just put your hand upon your heart. We're going to pray a very simple prayer, but it must come from your heart. You must mean it, not just your mouth, your heart. And with your hand upon your heart, I want you to pray <clears throat> and say with me, Heavenly Father, let's all say that prayer together. Say, Heavenly Father. I come to you today just as I am. I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. My whole life is rotten. But I give it to you today. Take my life. Bless my life. And use my life. From today, I receive Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord 
and my Savior. Heavenly Father, accept me today as your child. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you pray that prayer from your heart and you stood up, just let's give all those people a mighty clap offering. And I just want you to do something for me. We have a package that has been given to you. And it has a book that, say, that is called First Steps in Christ. Take time to read it. It will tell you the first things you have to do after giving your life to Christ. And there is a form that is in the package that is given to you. Take time and fill the form. When we take the next offering, you're going to drop it in the offering basket. And then we will take time to follow you. Thank you for giving your life to Christ. You are ready to face 2022. Let's give them all a mighty clap offering. Today, we start getting ready to enter the new year. We have just about 15 minutes to go into 2022. And I want you to hear these words of promise from God. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by name. You shall go out with joy and be led with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you and the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress tree. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree and it shall be to the Lord for a name for an everlasting sign that you shall not be cut off. Let's rise up together as we start praying into the new year. The Lord who has brought us this far will continue to lead us. We want to pray the prayer of thanksgiving for 2021. Just thank God for 2021. Thank God for all his goodness. And for all his plans towards you. Thank God for your family. Thank God for your spouse. For your children. For your loved ones. Just thank him. Thank him. It's been a turbulent year. But he has kept us. We thank you Lord for life. We thank you Lord for strength. We thank you, Lord, for your provision, for your covering, for the many times we've traveled by road and you have kept us on the road. The many times we travel and we go and, and return in peace. The many times we eat food, we don't even know what is in the food. But you kept us alive. The many times people try to poison us, but you delivered us. When people sought our destruction, but you kept us. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. And we give you the honor. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And as you pray and thank God for 20 years. 21, we want to dedicate our lives to the Lord and pray and say, Lord, I put my life in your hands, the life of my family in your hands, the life of my children in your hands. They are like those five loaves of bread and two fish. I cannot hold it by myself, so I deliver it to you, Lord. Keep me safe. Keep my children safe. Keep my husband safe. Keep my wife safe. 
Watch over us. Heal our bodies. Give us good health. Just dedicate your life to the Lord. Your career, your business, your education, just dedicate it to the Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. In just about 10 minutes, we will be entering 2022. Faithful is he who has brought us this far. Who also will take us on. <clears throat> Commit your future to the Lord. All your future plans. Commit every day, every week, every month in 2022 to the Lord. From 1st of January 2022, which is a few minutes away, to 31st of December 2022, we commit it into your hands. All our days are in your hands. Our seasons are in your hands, Lord. We commit it to you. Commit your plans, ideas you have, things you want to do. Commit it to the Lord. We're just a little over nine minutes into the new year. And the Lord who has brought us this far, he will continue to lead us. I want you to focus on about three things you want God to do for you. Three important things you want God to do for you. Three. And talk to the Lord about it and say, Lord, I commit these things into your hand. I commit these plans to you, Lord. These desires of mine, I commit them to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare over your life that it will be well with you. And it will be well with your family. And it will be well with you going in and well with you coming out. The Lord is your shield. And he will guide you. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in whom I will trust. Surely, he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. And from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers. And under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of destruction that lays waste at night, at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Tonight, as we enter into the new year, this is our confidence in the word of God. We abide under the shadow of the almighty. We are under his canopy. We are under his covering. May the Lord canopy around you. May the Lord overshadow you with his glory, with his Shekinah. May the Lord keep you from every evil. May the Lord deliver you from every evil tongue and every evil eye. May the Lord separate you from destruction. May the Lord separate you from destruction. In the name of Jesus. 
We lift up the banner of the name of Jesus over the life of God's people. In a few minutes, we'll be entering the new year. And when it's just five minutes to the time, we're all going to pray. I'm not going to give you any prayer topic again. And we're going to pray. And the Lord will touch you in a very special way. When you step foot into 2022, you are stepping foot with triumph, with victory, with a shout, just as the children of Israel shouted and the walls of Jericho fell down. When the trumpet sounds <clears throat> at the beginning of the new year, you are going to scream like crazy because walls in 2022 are coming down. Jericho is falling in 2022 and the Lord is giving you a victory. From now on, begin to pray and just talk to the Lord and let your heart commune with the Lord. And open your heart and pray for yourself and pray for your family and pray for your life and pray for your health and pray for everybody. If you are a couple, come together in agreement and pray in agreement. If you are a couple, if you are a family, just, you can just pray together. Just pray wherever you are and just pray and trust God to touch you in a very special way. Pray, 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 pray. You will not carry the burdens of last this year into next year. You will not carry any defeat with you. You will not carry failure with you. You will not carry sickness and disease with you. In the name of Jesus, we are crossing over into the increase of the Lord. We are crossing over into the increase of the Lord. We are crossing over into the increase of the Lord. The pillar of cloud, the pillar of cloud is before us. The pillar of fire is before us. The Lord God of hosts, the mighty God Jehovah, he goes before us. He goes before us. The angels of God are going before us. They are making a way for us. They are preparing a path for us. They are conquering for us. Mountains are falling in the name of Jesus. We are breaking through on every side. Favor is embracing us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Battles, battles are ending. Victory is coming. Battles are ending. Victory is coming in the name of Jesus. In just under three minutes, you will hear the trumpet. And you will step into your breakthrough. You will step into increase. You will step into multiplication. You will step into abundance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is our help. The Lord is our strength. The Lord is our shield. The Lord is our high tower. The Lord is our rock. He goes before us. He makes a way for us. A thousand will fall by our side. Ten thousand. It will not come nigh to us. Battles are ceasing. Victory is coming. Jericho is falling. The Jordan is making way. The Red Sea is making way. The children of God are coming. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. We are breaking into increase. In the name of Jesus. We thank you Lord. 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 To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Great things he has done. Greater things he will do. Great things he has done. Greater things he, he will do. The Lord is our shield. The Lord is our buckler. The Lord is our rock. The Lord is our high tower. Under his wings we move. Under his command we move. His angels are with us. We go in victory. We go in confidence. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. I sense increase. I sense increase. I sense increase. The little will become abundant. The small one will become great. In the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. In just one minute. Receive it now. 
Receive it now. The power of God is breaking loose over you. The power of God. The glory of God. The power of God. The glory of God. The increase of God. The increase of God. The abundance of God. The supply of God. The favor of God. The increase of God. The supply. The favor. The increase. The supply. The favor. The abundance. The goodness. The mercy. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Welcoming you into the new year. In the name of Jesus. In just about 15 seconds. We are stepping out. May the Lord increase you. 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 May the Lord increase you.
based on our theme and this is the first time we are making the declaration for 2022 and we are going to make it until the end of this year and then we start a new one in 2023 we've already started planning for 2023 because the Lord who has brought us this far will continue to take us are you ready to make your declaration for the first time in the year 2022. Say with me, are you ready? Say, I confess today that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. In him, I have life, his abundant life. The Lord is my light and strength. As he is, so has he made me. By his spirit, I increase in word and in wisdom, in faith and in favor. The Lord has said, in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply your seed. So I can boldly say, my God, shall increase me more and more what i place in god's hands grows into overflow though i begin small my end shall greatly increase in this year of increase i grow in grace and in strength to be all that god wants me to be in Jesus name Amen that is our declaration 
and we're going to say it throughout the year and whatever you place in God's hands will grow into overflow. Though you begin small, your end will greatly increase. You grow in grace and in strength to be all that God wants you to be in 2022. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, we have two important things on our agenda and then uh, we close. We're going to have a communion service and then we're going to have the anointing service for increase. And then after that, I will declare the blessings of increase over your life and then we will close our service. Before we do that, we want to take our offering for the new year. This is the first offering you are making in 2022. It is an offering for increase that what you put into God's hands, he will increase it for you and he will cause you to overflow. And I want you to give purposefully. I want you to give intentionally. I want you to give with a sense of mission about what you want God to do for you in 2022. Give as you have purpose in your heart and may the Lord bless you as you give. Zama Band will minister to us as we give our offering. And as we did in the earlier offering, the offering baskets will be in front and uh, you can just dance your way to where the offering baskets are, uh, drop in your offering and you go back. So the ushers will not come to you, you will come to the offering basket and come with the joy of the Lord as Zamaban minister to us. So we turn you loose, Zamaban.
Okay, I hope uh, we're done with the offering everywhere. Let's pray and bless the offering. Father, we thank you for this brand new year, 2022. Thank you for increase. We have given our five loaves of bread and two fish to you this morning. Trusting you, Lord, to take it, bless it, and increase it for us. That in this year, there will be no scarcity for your children. That in this year, for every thing that you plant on our hearts to do, we'll have the resources to do it. That we will not suffer shortages and limitations. That there will be an overflow and a supply of your spirit for every need in Jesus' name. And we give you the thanks for it. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing the hymn, Holy, 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 Endless Praise will lead us. And right after that, we will partake of communion and then the anointing service. And then we bring our proceedings to an end. This will be the first hymn we are singing in the new year. So sing it with uh, a lot of uh, energy and strength as we partake, uh, get ready to partake of communion. And I hope all of you have your communion uh, emblems. <clears throat> if you are watching us online or through any of the media, uh, you can join in the communion service with a, a small juice, a grape juice, and some bread, and we celebrate a communion together. Endless praise will lead us as we sing the hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy.
God's presence. On this first day of the year 2022, we are invited to the Lord's table to sit at table with the Lord God Almighty, to partake of Him, and to be part with Him. And so as we get ready to partake of communion, just want you to spend a few minutes just talking to the Lord and, and just pouring your desires to Him, that as we partake of this table, as we eat this communion, that God's presence will guide us throughout this year and show us mercy and kindness and favor in all our endeavors. May the Lord prosper our way. May he cause us to go in and come out in safety every day. Our Lord Jesus Christ left us this sacrament by which we partake of him, that we do it offering in remembrance of him. And so today, with the emblems we have, we bless them and set them apart for the purposes of God. So if you have your communion emblems, just lift them up. Just lift them up as I bless them. We bless you, O Lord, Heavenly Father, King of the universe, who has given us life and health and a new year. Today we present ourselves whole unto you as your children dedicated to you, that in us your name will be glorified. So Lord, today we sanctify these emblems of bread and wine, and we set them apart for holy purposes, that as we partake of them, they will minister to us the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be present at our table, O Lord, and fellowship with us as we partake of this communion. In Jesus' name, amen. Take your bread. I give to you that which we have received, that the Lord Jesus Christ, the night on which he was betrayed, he took bread. And after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is broken for you. Eat this in remembrance of me. Take your bread and say after me, Heavenly Father, on this first day of the year 2022, I come into covenant with you that you will be my God, you will be my shield. You'll be my provider. You'll be my protector. On this first day, to the last day, may you walk with me. May you help me. May you increase me. May you cause your blessing to rest upon me and my family and my loved ones. I receive today your life, your power, and your strength into my body from the top of my head to the soles of my feet I receive divine healing and health and soundness and wholeness in my body and in my mind thank you father in Jesus name the body of the Lord Jesus Christ take and eat In the same manner also after they had eaten, he took the cup, take up your cup, and said, this is the New Testament in my blood. Drink it. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth my death until I come. Do it often in remembrance of me. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I receive today the covering of the blood of Jesus over my life from the top of my head.
to the soles of my feet. That wherever I go, I will come under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Let the blood protect me. Let the blood speak for me. Let the blood be my deliverance in every crisis. May the blood of Jesus speak good things for me in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for soundness of body, of mind, of spirit in Jesus' name. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, take and drink. Just worship the Lord for a moment and thank him for the fellowship you have with him. And as you do, prepare your hearts also for the anointing service. That the Lord will touch your life. That the Lord will do something great for you. That every blessing that has been spoken tonight will manifest from the 1st of January in your life to 31st of December. May the blessing of increase rest upon you in Jesus' name. In a couple of minutes, We'll be having the announcing service after the ashes have taken all the cups. Oh, hallelujah. Just want to announce that Sunday church takes place at the, in the sanctuary just next door and this is where we meet now uh, on Sundays both services, first service at 7.30 uh, starts here second service at 10 o'clock uh, starts here there is uh, a brochure that has been provided for you and please take time to look at it and it has a lot of information for each one of you. So please, your brochure, it's part of the package that was given to you. Um, and we just also want to encourage you to invite a friend, a loved one to church. That's the brochure, New Year service at Christ Temple East, Teshin First service at 7.30, uh, second service at 10 o'clock. Uh, we just want you to invite your loved ones, invite your friends to come in and come and experience the glory and the grace of God uh, in the house of the Lord for our first New Year Sunday church service. Are you set now for the anointing? Are you ready? Okay, does everybody have the vial of oil? Everybody has it? The small vial, we distributed it to everybody. All right, if you don't have it, the ushers can give you one. Uh, for those of you who are watching at home, uh, you can get uh, just a, a piece of oil, and we're going to bless it, and we're going to partake of it. Let's rise together. Blessed are you, O Lord, King of the universe. You have blessed us with a great year. Uh, and a good year of increase of your mercy and of your kindness you have watched over us and you have preserved us we separate this oil unto you Lord that as we receive its touch it will minister to us your spirit and your power and may your anointing as of old rest upon your people may you anoint them Lord by the power of your Holy Spirit by the words that are spoken tonight, let this anointing rest upon your people from the first day of January to the 31st of December of this year. Let every day be blessed and anointed. 
Let every week be blessed and anointed. Let every month be blessed and anointed. And may your power overshadow your people tonight. That as we speak these words of blessing upon your people, it will pursue them and overtake them. That your people will be blessed going in and coming out by the anointing they receive today in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Now, I want you to open your vial. And I want you to just tip a piece of it. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord God anoint you, put it upon your head, the top of your head. May the Lord anoint you from the top of your head. Put it upon your forehead. May the Lord anoint you on your forehead. May the Lord anoint your hands. May the Lord anoint your feet. May the Lord anoint every part of you. That wherever you go from today, the power and the grace of God will rest upon you. Now keep your hand upon your head as I begin to speak the word of blessing upon your life. That all these blessings will come upon you, upon your families, upon everything you touch by the power of the most high God. From today I declare the blessing of the Lord over your life. The eternal God is your refuge. He will watch over you from this first day of the year to the last day of the year. The Lord bless you with the blessings of heaven and the increase of the earth. Today in the name of Jesus, I declare the blessing of increase over you. Increase in knowledge. Increase in faith. Increase in wealth. Increase in favor. On this first day of the year 2022, we place ourselves and our families under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of the eternal covenant, we receive life, health, safety, deliverance from the Most High God. The Lord bless your home. The Lord bless your family. The Lord bless your bread. The Lord bless your water. The Lord bless the works of your hands. In the name of Jesus, every plan, maneuver, and operation of evil against you is canceled. The Lord God is your safety and protection. He will keep you safe at home, safe on the road, safe in the air, safe on the water. The Lord will crown you with life. He will cause your health to spring forth. By the stripes of Jesus, be healed. Healed in your blood system. Healed in your nervous system. Healed in the cell systems of your body. Healed in your bone structure. Healed in your muscular structure. Healed in the organs of your body. Healed in the skin tissues. Receive divine healing. Receive health. Receive wholeness. In the name of Jesus. May the eternal God satisfy you with long life. And show you his salvation. In 2022 the Lord will hear you. When you call on his name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be multiplied over you. Receive increase in miracles and testimonies. Where others fall, there the Lord will lift you up. Where others bow in shame, there the glory of the Lord will rise upon you. Receive the strength of the Lord. In 2022, the Lord is your refuge. The Lord is your sun and shield. He is your glory all about. Receive God's glory and God's covering. In 2022, you will increase exceedingly. The Lord will multiply your seed until you become a thousand times more. In the name of Jesus, receive the blessing of increased knowledge. In 2022, the Lord will open the eyes of your understanding. Receive the spirit of revelation. Receive mental illumination. Receive the treasures of knowledge. Receive divine intelligence. What you don't know will be revealed to you. Receive increased knowledge in 2022. In the name of Jesus, receive the blessing of increased faith. In 2022, you will operate in great faith. Receive faith to produce evidence of things not seen. Receive faith to conceive and give birth to God's promises. Receive faith to remove mountains and bring down walls of resistance. Receive faith to cause the things that be not 
into existence. Receive increased faith in the name of Jesus. In 2022, receive the blessing of increased wealth. The Lord will bless your labor with favor. Your fields will yield increase. You will begin to prosper and continue prospering until you become very prosperous. Hey, in the name of Jesus, receive a creative mind. The Lord will inspire your mind with innovative ideas. The Lord will skillfully guide your hands. Receive divine access. The Lord will open gates of wealth to you. You will sit at the table of captains of industry. Receive growth and expansion. The Lord will enlarge the place of your tent. He will stretch your curtains. In 2022, the blessing of increased wealth is yours. Receive the anointing of increased favor. In 2022, you will excel through favor. Receive divine selection. The Lord will set his eyes on you to select you out of many. Receive divine appointment. The Lord will cause the times and seasons of 2022 to favor you. Receive divine lifting. The Lord will cause your gift to bring you into prominence. By the work of your hands, you will be recognized. You will be lifted up. You will be celebrated. The Lord will set a table of honor before you. He will shine his light on you. So I declare over your life, increase, multiplication, abundance. Your life will be full and complete. In the name of Jesus, the Lord your God blesses you with these generational blessings. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Abel. Your sacrifice will find favor with God. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Noah. You and your family will be delivered from destruction. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Abraham. You will be great and your name will be great. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Sarah. You will bear fruit in your old age. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Isaac. The Lord will make room for you. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Jacob. You will prevail over the night and receive your blessing. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Joseph. You will be remembered and rewarded. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Moses. You will be a deliverer unto your people. The Lord bless you with the blessing of David. The Lord will subdue all your enemies out under you. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Elijah. The Lord will answer you by fire. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Daniel. He will shut the mouth of every lion that rouses against you. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Esther. You will sit on the throne with kings. The Lord bless you with the blessing of Mary. All who know you will call you blessed. Above all, receive the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation, healing, deliverance, blind eyes open, lame walk, deaf speak, demons cast out, storm still, walking on water, bread multiplied, dead raised, resurrection power, abundant life. The Lord bless you with righteousness and peace and joy and wisdom and power and might and increase on this first day of January 2022 you have entered a season of God's increase and multiplication you have entered a season of God's increase and multiplication what you put in God's hands will multiply it will increase there will be no shortage in your life there will be no shortage in your life there will be no scarcity in your life there will be no limitation in your life the Lord will reward you with goodness all the days of your life may he who has begun the year with you walk you through every day until the end of the year the eyes that have seen the beginning of this year will also see the end of this year those who are present here this year will be present here at the end of this year the Lord will deliver you the Lord will set you free and the Lord will keep you safe and may the peace of God rest upon you all the days of your life the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest upon you today and throughout 2022. In Jesus' name, amen.
and amen god bless you have a wonderful year go and walk in victory and in increase in every area of your life god bless you have a blessed year we see you on sunday new year service with pastor mensa otobi this sunday january 2 fellowship with us as our sunday services move to christ temple east teshi first service in person 7 30 a.m second service in person and online 10 a.m buses will be available for both first and second service to convey church members 